Can't remember your Wi-Fi password? Welcome to Hello Tech's YouTube channel, your one-stop shop for tech news, how-tos, and product reviews. I'm your host, Caleb Cabanus, and today, I'm going to show you how to find that elusive Wi-Fi password stored on your iPhone. Most devices automatically connect to a Wi-Fi network after you've logged in once, so it can be easy to forget Wi-Fi passwords these days. While iPhones don't have a built-in feature to easily show your Wi-Fi network's password, there are several workarounds that I'll show you. Starting off with the first method, navigate to the home screen of your iPhone by pressing the home button at the bottom of the phone for older models, or swiping up if you have a newer phone. Once you're on the home screen, tap the Settings app. The icon for settings looks like cogs or gears. Once we're in settings, we find Wi-Fi towards the top, and we'll tap on that. Then, tap on the blue eye logo next to the Wi-Fi network to which you're currently connected. Then scroll to the bottom to find router. Next, press down your finger and hold on the numbers next to router and select copy. This will copy your router's IP address so that you can paste them in your web browser later. Or you can also write down the numbers on a piece of paper. Once you have your router IP address, open a web browser on your iPhone. You can use any web browser on your phone, such as Safari or Chrome, but Safari is installed on all iPhones by default, so that's what I'm using here. Next, paste or type your router's IP address into the search bar and tap Go on your keypad. To paste, tap and hold the address bar in your browser and select Paste, or type the number you wrote down earlier. You may see a page that says this connection is not private. If you do, tap Advanced, then Proceed. This may only happen on certain browsers, so if it's not applicable to you, just carry on. Next, you'll see a screen asking you to enter your router's username and password. These are not the same thing as your Wi-Fi username and password. You might be able to find your router's information printed somewhere on the router itself, or maybe in its manual. But if not, you can also use the list on the screen right now and in the description below to find the default username and password of your router listed by brand. The most common router usernames are admin, user, or just leave it blank. And the most common router passwords are admin, password, please don't use that for your real passwords, or leave it blank. If you, like me, have changed your router password in the past and can't remember it, then find the small reset button on the back or the bottom of your router and press it down for a few seconds with something small like a paperclip or toothpick. This will reset your router to its default factory settings after which you can try the default passwords from earlier. Once your router's done rebooting and you've logged in, continue with the following steps. When you're logged into the router, click Wireless. You'll usually see this in a menu on the left side or on the top of the screen. This button could have a different name depending on your router. You might also have to tap through other buttons to find basic or security settings of your router, which usually has your Wi-Fi password or passphrase. Finally, you will see your Wi-Fi password under the network name. We recommend writing your password down on paper or deleting your Wi-Fi password and changing it to something you might remember just a little bit better. Just make sure to tap save when you're done, otherwise your changes won't go into effect. And that's the first method for finding your Wi-Fi password done. If this method doesn't work for you and you also own a Mac, you can find your Wi-Fi password with method number two. Your Mac computer doesn't even need to be connected to the Wi-Fi network to complete these steps. Here's how to do it. Open the Settings app on your iPhone. Then tap your Apple ID. This is the first option at the top of the screen next to your name and profile icon. Next, tap iCloud. Then tap Keychain and make sure it's turned on. If it's turned off, tap the radio button to turn Keychain on. You'll know that Keychain is turned on if the button is green. Next, click the Apple icon on the top left corner of your Mac screen. Select System Preferences. Next, click Apple ID. Then make sure that the Keychain box is checked. You might have to scroll down a bit to find Keychain there. Next, select iCloud. Then, open a Finder window. You can do this by clicking on the half blue, half gray face icon in your dock. You can also right click anywhere on the desktop and then press the Command and N keys on your keyboard at the same time. Next, click Applications. 
you should see this in the left sidebar of your Finder window. You can also right-click the Finder window and press the Command, Shift, and A keys at the same time. Then open the Utilities folder. Open the Keychain Access app. Then type the name of your Wi-Fi network into the search box and hit Enter. Next, double-click your Wi-Fi network. This will open a new settings pop-up window. Then check the box next to Show Password. Next, enter your keychain password. And don't worry, this is the same password that you use to log into that Mac computer. Finally, you can find your Wi-Fi password next to Show Password. We hope this guide has helped you to find your Wi-Fi password from your iPhone. If this has worked for you, make sure to like this video. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and head to our website for more tech tips and tools. This has been Caleb Cabanus with HelloTech.com, and I'll see you next time.